In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the features and benefits of the Cardano Byron reboot. Also doing a deep dive into the Daedalus Flight wallet. So some of the different features, functionalities, and showing you guys how to get started. All of that is going to be here in this video, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to this video here today. Today is Thursday, April 2nd of 2020. I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're having a great day. What we're going to be taking a look at here are some of the benefits of the recent release of the Cardano Byron reboot. So a very highly anticipated update with the network. We're going to be discussing some of that here. And what I've got for you guys is a graphic that I've retweeted on my Twitter. You can check it out. Follow me at Kaizen Crypto. So what we're taking a look at, performance and reliability improvements. Uh, what this means essentially is a rewrite of the networking code using state-of-the-art techniques, a thorough and complete rewrite of the ledger, consensus, and other software components. And why they did this is to create an overall better user experience. This includes faster syncing and wallet restoration time when using Daedalus, faster transaction processing, reduction of connecting to network issues for users. That has been a very prominent issue that many people have been experiencing, I know myself included. So looking forward to that here as we anticipate these releases going forward. Uh, next is gonna be modular design, and this is essentially is decoupling of consensus and ledger rules. And the reason they did this is for easier uh, use in implementing integrations and delivering future updates, including those for delegation and smart contracts. New features will be available faster and delivered with minimal disruption to users. And next is going to be high assurance code built from scratch. So it's a completely rewritten code base that it's going to be probably one of the most significant things about this upgrade. Uh, over two years worth of work completely redone here with this Byron reboot. It's evidence-based software development methodology, mixing agile process with a formal methods approach, further assurance from a third-party security audit. And the reason they did this is it is significantly more secure, robust, and reliable. Users can trust that Cardano has been developed and tested to the highest standards of assurance. And lastly is the delivery of a new wallet backend. Um, provided via Adressia, Explorer, Node, and Command Line tools. And this is because it provides an easier bridge between end-user applications and Cardano Core Node. This will support new exchanges wanting to list ADA, encourage third-party wallets and explorers to integrate, and provide new ways for users to interact with the Cardano blockchain. Very cool. That's awesome. I gave that tweet a like. Very, very useful information there. And then one of the other things that are significant about this update, they went ahead and released a new version of Daedalus. So we're going to take a look at that. I'm going to leave a link for you guys down in the description below if you do want to download it. It is a very, very cool um, wallet with a nice, clean user interface. If you're familiar with Daedalus, you're going to like Daedalus Flight. One thing to keep in mind is that these transactions using the Daedalus Flight Wallet are going to be mainnet transactions. So stated here in this uh, website that they've got for the wallet, it is recommended for community members who are familiar with Daedalus and who have a little bit more experience transacting using the wallet. So just a quick disclaimer, I did just want to let you guys know, but if you do want to download it, check out the link down in the description. So in this case, what you want to do after you've clicked on the link, you're going to have the option to download the Daedalus Flight Wallet. You want to go ahead and choose your operating system. In my case, I'm running on a Mac. Or if you have Linux or Windows, you can choose the respective version for you. After you go through the process of downloading the installer, go ahead and click on it. It'll, it'll prompt you on how to go ahead and install it onto your machine. And once you've successfully done that, you should see an icon pull up on your computer 
for the Daedalus Flight Wallet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click on it and we're going to wait for the wallet to download and then we're going to jump into how to go through the process of restoring your wallet and we're going to discuss some of the different features that you can find that are different from the original Daedalus. We are waiting for the Cardano Flight Wallet to sync with the blockchain. This process is going to vary depending on your internet connection and what type of computer that you're running on. But for me personally, this process took anywhere around about an hour and a half, maybe a couple of hours. So be patient with this process. While we were waiting, I did want to show you guys a stake pool operator video. One of my friends, shout out to Duckpool, he's been helping me along through the process of getting my Cardano stake pool up and running. I wanted to say to you guys, if you are looking for a reliable stake pool that you can start earning passive rewards and you want to support a smaller pool, go ahead and check him out, Duckpool. I'm going to leave a link to his Twitter down in the description below. Let's check him out. So after you have successfully downloaded the Daedalus Flight Wallet, you're going to be given the option to create or restore a wallet. So we're going to be taking a look at that. Guys, one thing to keep in mind, again, you are going to be transacting using real ADA. So what I did personally was I went ahead and created a separate wallet simply for testing purposes. And I've allocated just a small portion of funds just to use for testing purposes. Um, not financial advice, just a quick suggestion, something that I'm doing personally. Uh, but in this case, what we're going to do, so I went ahead and downloaded the wallet. The synchronization time, definitely a lot faster. Um, again, it does depend on your internet connection and what type of machine that you're running. But definitely did notice an improvement in terms of wait time. So what I'm going to do is choose the restore option here. So I've already got my uh, mainnet wallet. Many people are asking whether you have to restore either a testnet uh, rewards wallet or a mainnet wallet. In this instance, if you're using the Daedalus flight, you have to use a mainnet wallet. So in this instance, I've already got that. I'm gonna click on restore. I really like how it gives you the option to choose either Daedalus or Euroi, so you can do either one. I've got a Daedalus wallet, I'm gonna click on that. And if you have a paper wallet, you can choose that option. In this instance, I've got a 12 word recovery phrase. I'm gonna click on that option here, continue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my 12 word recovery phrase. And then after that, it'll give us the option to see the balance in the wallet. And then we're gonna take a look at some of the different features here with Daedalus Flight. So after the wallet has successfully completed downloading, we see here the available balance. And first thing right off the bat, you know, you can see that the similarities between the Daedalus Flight wallet and current mainnet Daedalus, uh, very, very similar. There are a couple notable differences that I did want to point out to you guys here. Uh, also, I'm going to be showing you how you can reach out to the developers to either request a support ticket or if you have feedback or even have a feature suggestion, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, and then another thing to keep in mind as well, uh, for those of you who are using the incentivized testnet version for Daedalus, one thing that we notice here that's different is that there is no delegation center. Um, there isn't currently a rewards staking section where you can see the amount of passive ADA that you've earned. And I'm very certain that 
once we do have Shelly brought onto the mainnet, we're gonna have an updated version of the Cardano Flight Wallet so that we can see those features implemented as well and building off of that to be able to test certain features. So just wanted to point that out to you guys. That's one of the key differences for all these different wallets here. Uh, but taking a look at the Daedalus Flight version, one thing that I found, you know, just going through all these different tabs here, um, if you do want to change the date, time, format, that's going to be here, this little analog style logo. And then as far as reaching out to developers or reaching out to uh, any type of tech support if you have issues, it's the same thing right here if you go on the top uh, where it says the right support tab. You can just click on that. It'll give you the option to reach out if you do have some troubleshooting things that you need to look at. These are some of the known issues. So as far as you know, being able to reach out to the developers, they've made it very easy if you've already gotten familiar with the UI for current version of Daedalus. Uh, it's gonna look very, very similar. Um, another thing as well, so this one was pretty cool. I actually thought this was an interesting ad. If you click on transaction at the top, so there's this filter button here. I really like that because if you click on it, it gives you the option to sort through your certain transactions. So it's beneficial if you do have, say like a large transaction that you made, or if you had a transaction of a certain amount that you needed to record, um, or automatic transactions that you're having to make for business, anything like that, you're able to filter through all these different metrics here. So you can see ADA received or ADA sent. You can choose the date and time, the amount. So really like that feature. That's probably one of the biggest things that I've noticed currently that's different from the mainnet version of Daedalus. Um, but yeah, aside from that, also there is a disclaimer. I'm gonna post that picture up for you guys here. If you guys are trying to send any type of funds, there is a disclaimer stating that you are using mainnet ADA, so you just wanna be wary of that. Um, aside from those key things, that is gonna be more or less what you're looking at here for the Daedalus Flight Wallet. I'm gonna keep you guys updated with developments for this version as we continue seeing growth and uh, features being brought out from the developers. But I do hope that you all found some value from this video here today. Please be sure to drop a like for me if you did find some value. And again, guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button on your way out. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, take care.